I hope everyone is doing well and feeling loved. And if not, know that I love you. So today is what's coming towards you. Okay, so I'm going to pull a couple of decks because I just want to do something different. <laughs> I want to do something different. And let's use the, and I didn't get all these decks not to use them. <laughs> so. And if you're interested in a reading, my information is in the description box. All of my stuff is on 50% sale. I may keep that like that for a while, um, to be honest. It may stay that way. <coughs> so... Okay, so what is coming towards them, Spirit? I keep seeing 68, too, and 128 is significant, so... Um, so what's coming towards you is family or a pregnancy. Some of you could be getting pregnant. You know I've been seeing that for a very long time, okay? So, what is the confusion? Some of you are confused or maybe confused, okay? What's the confusion? You're confused because you're exhausted. Maybe some of you are feeling like this shouldn't be this hard or this is taking too long or this is just, this is not good. But, there is forgiveness that's needed or there could be an apology coming what is this because of the perspective this person could have not had a good perspective that you were dealing with and this is why you're confused and you're just like what the f i feel like this is two different people like <clears throat> excuse me this feels like someone was waiting on the other person to get their shit together and they finally did and they're like i'm sorry i I don't know what I was thinking. This is what I'm feeling like. Okay? This is what I'm hearing. This is how this person is going to come back. Any clarity about this? Who this person is coming back? Oh, this person could um, have a tendency to be shallow. Or they may feel empty. Or they could be bored. This person, this is the divine masculine. <laughs> this person may have been shallow in the past, but they're trying to come back for balance, harmony, and friendship. They want peace in their life. It sounds like they could have been dealing with someone that put them through the ringer. 328 on the timer. 328 in twin flame also means let go of anyone who's not your twin. So they could be learning a lesson here about that. Like, shit, nobody's going to treat me the way that divine feminine treated me or something. Okay, <clears throat> yeah, they, they view Divine Feminine as charming, graceful, and kind-hearted. They may not have saw this before. Yeah, they saw her at one point as very unstable. And maybe was waiting, you know, like waiting for something. Waiting for what? Waiting for her mind to, waiting for her not to be unbalanced. Waiting for her not to be distracted by someone else. And this person just sat and craved and longed and missed Divine Feminine. What was she doing? She was conflicted. She was hot and cold. She had multiple choices. Even though she did miss you and crave you also, she needed time time to complete cycles time to learn something she was very angry and resentful and bitter 
and depressed. This could have been why she was um, imbalanced. And needed time alone. Needed time to heal, right? To see through the illusion, to see through this illusion. To walk away from the illusion of whatever this other crap was. And this was a karmic debt. So this was a definitely a karmic relationship. Um, and that it was very painful. Or it is very painful. There she is. And you just spied on her and waited and watched her go through this. You watched her try to escape all the time. So sh this looks like someone who just kept running and running and running and running. So this is over. This is coming to a close. Like whatever this cycle is, this deception, this trickery that was going on is, is ending. Okay, this illusion is coming to a close. So where are they headed? Being devoted to each other. And there will be a confession of some sort. Somebody's going to come clean about some things. About why they were conflicted. If they haven't already. They could have already done this. And they could be talking to you about um, stress. So you two are going to be building something stable together. Okay. Getting out of this unbalanced energy and going towards risk and adventure and possibilities. Okay. Anything you want to say about where they're headed? Where they're headed? Where the Divine Feminine Masculine are headed. Venus. This is love. Cherishing one another. Enjoying each other. Charm, art, and beauty. This is an unexpected change. Uranus. This is... Um, you need to look at something different. Or you are going to be looking at something different. The way that you two are going to be creating something um you're going to be ending cycles in a in a different way or in a new way there's something that's going to be new and unusual <laughs> about the way you do that do something and it's gonna you're going to be an example about the power of love and it's going to have something to do with your fifth house you're going to be investing in one another Okay, who are these people? Any clarity? Fourth house could be significant. Twelfth house is significant. You're going to be building... This is a family and home. And this is about... Hidden enemies. This could be addictions because it says hidden tendencies. You could have some toxic tendencies here that you need to work on. The both of you or one of you. Gemini is out here. So Gemini could be significant. And the 10th house. So both of you are going to be doing some kind of work together. Pluto is out here. Somebody could be a Plutonian person. And this makes them obsessive and controlling. This could be a hidden tendency that is like an enemy. Hidden enemy. You're like your own worst enemy here. Please don't do that. Libra is out here. That's also Pluto. Hades is Pluto. Okay. 11th house is out here. You're going to be helping humanity. You two are humanity's salvation or sake or all of you. Mars is out here driving you to take action. You and your person. Who's the other person that Libra will be doing this with? This is... And I say you too, but I'm talking about energies, okay? It could just be 
This is a Virgo. Okay. It's a Virgo. Libra and a Virgo. Um, you're going to realize that you had to sacrifice something. And I feel like what was needed to sacrifice was um, illusion, was karmic people, karmic patterns, karmic cycles, karmic tendencies. Um, and this could be multiple people because we have Gemini, we have Libra, we have Virgo. Anyone else out here on the table? Um, you're going to have some awareness about how your words are powerful as well. So this is a Gemini and a Cancer could be significant here. Okay. Sixth house. So you're protected from, this says intuition to protect. So attitudes from the past. This is, Cancer could be significant about your past or it could have wanted to protect you, but this is a past person. Um, you guys are going to be going into service for others. Definitely doing service work, okay? And this is remembering now is not the time to reconsider going back to the past. That's South Node energy. That's your past life. This person is a part of that. I think someone could have realized this, okay? Scorpio and Taurus. There could be someone here that's a Scorpio and a Taurus that is a divine counterpart couple that are going into union as well. There could be an Aries out here, an Aquarius, and a Pisces, and a Sagittarius. Wow. Okay. So those are a lot. Um, they told me to keep going. Okay. So that's a lot of people going into union. Okay. There's a, a big shift that are sh that's shifting a lot of people here. Okay. This is where everybody is headed. And I, not union, but reunion. Okay. Union is when everything is perfect. And um, I don't know. Some of you may be going to union. It depends on where you're at in your journey. Um, union takes a long time to get there, though. Be at home. 68 could be significant. I told you I keep seeing 68. There it is. 68 is significant. Wombat spirit. Be at home. So you guys are going home. You guys are going home. One, ant spirit, time to collaborate. Yeah, you're going home because it's time to collaborate with each other, okay? And I've always told you this isn't about love and having babies, but it looks like that is somebody's destiny, okay? It's somebody's destiny. It's everybody's, that's like a plus. It's like a gift, okay? It's like an added bonus for going into your destiny to have the love of your life and a baby, but that's not why you're coming together. <laughs> for some of you, it is. But others, it's like, it's time to come home now. It's time to, we got work to do, right? We got work to do. Um, so that's the bigger mission here is that you have work to do, okay? There's a card that flipped over. 37, lion spirit. Be generous of spirit. So be generous of spirit, meaning practice gratitude thank spirit right that is your creator okay um also spread love and light to others as much as you can 26 embrace the in-between so the in-between is the spiritual realm that is the balance you guys have to balance spiritual realm and earthly realm okay 45 watch your words I just got done telling you guys that your words, somebody's learning that your words create your reality and spirit is telling you to re to watch your words because what you say is starting to manifest. You don't believe me? Try it. If you, if you're one of those signs and you don't believe me, do it. Okay. Do it. Speak something into existence. God, it better not be nothing bad. I'm telling you. <laughs> so you better do something kind. Like, ooh, um, I love finding $5 on the ground. Anything crazy like that, okay? 28 could be significant. Frog spirit. Uh, clear out the clutter. So you could be being asked to clean your home at this time. <laughs> okay, I hear you. Get rid of the dust and debris, okay? Um, because all of that stuff holds energy, okay? There could be something significant about some kind of gym, too. I don't know. That's the second time I saw that also. About an oyster pearl or something. 38. 
dream the world into being lizard spirit so yeah some of you are dreaming not some of you all of you are dreaming a world into being okay be mindful of your words get ready to go to work 24 electric eel bring your ideas to life that's what all of you are doing 32 let spirit be your guide hawk spirit it's time it's time anything you want to say about why it's time now what's so significant about now anything you want to say about that about what is significant about now Whoa. 28 <laughs> 28 clear out the clutter <laughs> i can't breathe about a choke <laughs> i feel like there's something that's in alignment something is aligned 18 dear spirit bring a gentle touch b sweet results await yeah b spirit seven this is talking about like it's just time it's it's time now trust the great mystery 65 so i feel like they don't really want to tell me other than girl be quiet and clear the cup water <laughs> oh my god oh gosh okay i'll be quiet so anything we need to know right now as i'm wrapping this up wanting you everybody to release any confusion as long as you're listening to your intuition and you're connected to your intuition you have nothing to worry about here spirit is saying okay nothing to worry about release any type of confusion some about lightning bugs could be significant do not get distracted now is not the time for a delay yeah something is a time is of the essence for something right now like there's no time for mistakes yeah it's time to trust and believe and and rely on your own intuition and and god and your higher power and your guides and your ancestors okay <clears throat> do not let pride get in your way do not be arrogant or or ego based or stubborn okay you need to do if you feel yourself doing that spirit is saying you need to be quiet if you feel if someone's triggering you into being arrogant or ego in your ego or stubborn you need to be quiet just be quiet this could be someone who has a tendency to be shallow this could be divine masculine if if divine feminine if you have a tendency to do that too you need to be quiet because now is not the time <laughs> okay now is not the time to um to do that you need to be compassionate you need to open your heart you need to be forgiving okay you need to allow yourself to be led with your heart space okay so that is what i have for everybody 